Hi, I'm Jeff Chalice, Training Development Manager here at AGCO's UK Training Centre. The engineering nuances of how a clutch works might not be top of your list, but through this short video we will show you how using a genuine AGCO clutch disc can have positive implications on how your tractor operates and why genuine really does make a difference. Every time you need to replace your clutch, it requires a significant amount of work, removing the cab and splitting the chassis to gain access to the clutch assembly before you can even start work on the clutch itself. This is at least 10 hours of workshop time on a modern tractor. Echo Parts use two types of single dry clutch discs for agricultural use. Both come with a solid or spring centre option and are either manufactured with an organic or a sintered friction material. The organic friction material is typically a moulded or woven material which may have copper or steel strands added to provide greater resistance to wear, especially under high load field applications. The friction material operates within a temperature range of between 100 to 200 degrees centigrade and is suitable for tractors up to 100 kilowatts or 134 horsepower. Sintered friction material is made up of sintered metals which are pressed into shape and then bonded together. Sintered linings offer good resistance to wear, can operate satisfactorily up to 400 degrees centigrade and are suitable for tractors up to 150 kilowatt or 200 horsepower. Using a clutch disc with lower quality friction material will cause slippage under full load, resulting in premature wear and an increase in fuel consumption. This loses you revenue through increased vehicle downtime, higher running costs and more time and money spent on repairs. The sintered friction pad backing plate forms a retaining rivet to secure the pad to the clutch disc. This unique feature provides a friction material with a wear depth of up to 5mm on each paddle, which significantly extends service life. A clutch disc that uses a standard steel rivet design will typically have half the available wear depth and as a consequence a much shorter service life. Sandwiched between each set of friction pads are crimped spring steel segments. These segments hold the friction pads slightly apart and provide a cushioning effect when the clutch disc is engaged. This ensures progressive engagement and a greater degree of clutch control. This feature is particularly important when manoeuvring a tractor in limited space. If the cushion deflection is too little or too large, as a result of using low quality segments, it can result in clutch drag, which makes it difficult to change gear and a harsh take-up of drive that makes low-speed manoeuvring very difficult. You also risk damaging the friction material, which will lead to premature failure and reduce the service life of the disc. It is important to remember that the torsion damper is tuned to suit the engine and transmission type. The primary function of the torsion springs is to absorb and smooth out any fluctuations in engine revolutions and provide protection for the transmission by controlling noise and vibration during idling speed and under full load conditions. The design features a carrier plate and a splined drive hub. Located in slots in the carrier plate are torsion springs arranged radially around the hub centre. Different stages of damping control are provided by torsion springs of different strength and quantity. Further dampening is provided by a friction device fitted between the hub and carrier plates. Inferior components will result in little or no damping taking place, which will lead to an increase in noise and vibration with possible transmission failure. As you can see, it might seem like a good idea to save money using a non-genuine clutch, but the risk of damage and potential cost of early replacement will quickly outweigh any small savings. Using genuine ACO parts is the best way of ensuring your machine keeps working. 